I will wait for you. Ooh. 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 What's funny? <laughs> you, nigga. I was in choir. <laughs> was. She Muslim, bro. Don't listen to her. <laughs> I will wait for you. Choir wasn't just church. I was in elementary school. You ain't even named the choir. <laughs> I was in choir. Now, if I got to prove it, what? I will wait for you. It wasn't even no motherfucker. <laughs> he had no headphones. I was in choir in elementary school. And it's a loser here that, that doesn't <laughs> believe it. Welcome to the Don't Call Me White Girl show. Woo woo. Bow. Shout out to the shooter. That's how I feel it up being rappers. Shout out their photographer. Yeah. Shout out to my shooter. Because we're super violent in Philadelphia. You already know. If Don't Call Me White Girl is doing a podcast, she has left hunk of her ass here. Phelps, my butt cheek, my backpack. Hey, baby. It's 50 boy Phelps today. BMF Phelps. Big dog. Somebody got some jury on and it's going to his head. <laughs> so he wants to be referred to as 50 Boy Phelps. Shout out to Phelps Chain. No zoom ins. Um, thank you, uh, Tina Rowland Jewelry. Is that where you got? She just made it for me and sent it. I said, I think she made me this. What a coincidence. Shameless bug. We have another guest, and unfortunately, his head is shaped like a triangle, but he is my friend. Yeah, I thought we worked on that. <laughs> I thought we shaped it outside. Derek from Boston is here. Is that your name, or are we supposed to use your other name? Yeah, you said you didn't like the other one, so Derek's cool. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> uh, I You're going to go with Derek. This is my nigga. If you remember Derek. Sat with us in Los Angeles when we were much happier. Yeah. Because it's not the same here on this side. But Derek, say, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Are you excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love the weekend in Philadelphia. Listen, so Derek spent the night, and I'll say this. We woke up in a rental with rocks at our feet. So we had a good old ghetto time. You know what I mean? And the best thing about Derek was like, he was like, yo, shoot that shit. You know what I mean? Like rob that nigga. Like he was the egger on. And normally when a person is visiting out of town, you egg them on. But no, he was like, yo, you got to like do more. Don't, like, you don't call me white girl. Bust that nigga window. Don't do that again. I didn't want her to go outside. You feel me? But you, but you get to go home. I gotta be here on Thursday. <laughs> All I thought about the whole time was Phelps would be so hot, he would be pissed if he knew we were out here on up to this shit, up to no good. Um, no, but I had Derek and Philadelphia, and I kept thinking, God, I hope we don't get shot. You know what I mean? Because it's always like that. Up and coming comedian from Boston comes out here to see your friend on a bloody Philadelphia weekend. But, but can I ask? That? Is that why y'all really got? It's really rocks in the car. Why? Okay, they were on a podcast. <laughs> okay, they don't know if it's a joke. Okay, whatever. Y'all know we real niggas on this show. Oh, Shit got man. crazy. Shit got crazy, and we ain't want to ride around with no felonies. Mm. So we had some homemade shit. Bust your motherfucking head. They used to stone people back in the day. This nigga was with it. He's like, look, get the rocks just in case. I'm like, all right, bet. I grab them. You don't listen, you don't want to be caught without one. Grab two of them rocks, nigga. We had a ball, you know where we were? Chester. My first time. I used to call Chester don't the butthole of Pennsylvania. Let me tell you why I don't. It's fine. I have so many fans there, and I don't want to hurt you. Do I feel like Chester's the butthole Pennsylvania? Yes, but <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, so I won't say that. It's still Pennsylvania. Shout out to Chester. I love y'all. Okay, even the raggedy horse with red hair. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um, it's an elephant in the room. I feel like 
since we've been here about the film, nobody wants to talk about it, nobody's going many. Young Thug's in prison. Well, you wouldn't be having a, you wouldn't be saying free a free man. You forgot the t shirt. Yeah, show the t shirt. Young Thug is in Fulton County Correctional Facility, and I am fucked up about it. It may be a joke to people that don't connect with their musicians like I do, but I'm upset. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't think. And I hope they're treating you well, Jeffrey. I wrote you two letters. Are you upset? Yeah. It's upsetting. Yeah. Listen. Gun is in there too. It don't feel right. Something, it, it feels it so feel awkward. Right. Listen, gun is in jail. Free gun and free all them boys. I put it's so much shit I have to say about but, this topic. You know, but you but you know my saying wasn't there. So I just whether I'm there or not, I hate to see somebody so but successful I don't see thug in jail. Thug. Yeah. And honestly, my worst enemy, I don't want to see them in jail under Rico. Yeah. This is the problem. This is the thing that I the, the thing that stuck out to me the most about Young Thug, all jokes aside, right? First of all, when you have a person like me, my opinion, it's a little different than yours at home. And I'm not ashamed. You know what I mean? I'm not a supporter of America and its laws. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I follow them. Pride proven true. I got three nails missing. <laughs> Come on. Like, I follow the law, you know? But I think it's bullshit, a lot of the laws. You know what I'm saying? Understood. I think a lot of the laws are stupid, and I also don't know why citizens hold them so tight to their hearts. Like, for instance, what stick out, sticks out to me so much, I know people are going to be like, what are you talking about? The recession, right? So the recession came, and, and things were so crazy, and um, the recession really affected my mom in a negative way. Shout out to my mom. Last week, oh my Shut God, out, my mom got my DM jumping. Mm -hmm. I don't ever post that bitch again. <laughs> like, I got a couple DMs about one or two. Like, you were like, oh, you share one, she's better than you, she looks better than you. It's like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> block the bitch, she's not coming <laughs> on. That's right, she ain't here, I can say it. Blocking my fucking mom because we're not about to do that. Like, I'm the star of the show. Anyway, but the recession came and affected my mom really negatively. She couldn't find work. She lost her home. This was years ago, 2008 or whatever. But I remember those bankers who were at direct fault and they lost like their summer home. And those yeah. motherfuckers broke laws. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think that was like the first time for me as an adult where I was like, oh, this is, oh, this shit is really like for real. Like they do what they want. We follow the rules, the sheep. Because it's the 99 and 1. 99% of the country is butt fuck poor. Kind of like, because I don't even know if it's a middle class anymore. I don't know. And I see on YouTube comments like, oh, I wish Mona get a little more knowledgeable about the topic. Whether I was knowledgeable <laughs> about the topic or not, bitch, I would still say, um, what, um, what? Because I got ADD. The truth bitch, is Bitch, this truth. ain't National Geographic. This is comedy. I know a little something. What? I said the truth. I'm with you. I'm saying the truth is the truth. We're not worried about all the extra details when it comes to the... Listen, no. You're right, Shaquita. I should research stuff so you will fucking know. Speaking, you know what I mean? They Speak, want you to do their homework. Speaking of research... This nigga always militant with it. They want you to do their homework. No, I'm bringing the topic so I should have the points. I, I think what she was really trying to say is I really want to know what you think and you can get deeper, dwell deeper into this topic if you would research it. Unfortunately, I don't want to talk about a topic for 17 minutes anyway. I want to like breeze about it, like look cute, like, I don't know. Bullet point. How do you change a light bulb? You know? Act dumb. Whatever. Um, so th the recession thing opened my eyes to a whole lot of shit. And I remember my mom saying um, about criminals, like, I understand how people don't follow the law. Like, I understand people live on the other side of the law because when you do things like me, 
My mother has worked since she was 13, 14, paid taxes the whole time, every year, never broke the law, purchased her first home at 20, another at 30, resold the whole American dream thing, get the credit, get the loans. Da, da, da. And then a recession hits and you have to be out in like 60, 90 days. There's no program for you. There's no, you know what I mean? It's a slap in the face to a hardworking American. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't trying to tell Wanda business, but she'll hold a pack. <coughs> okay. What? But my mom will hold a package. Okay? My mother found my weed in high school and gave it back. Real niggas. She don't know if I hold a weed, man. I ain't owe him nothing. You know? No consignment money. That's what they called me. <laughs> I ain't get a pack like your baby dad. <laughs> Invested in myself since day one. All right? QPs was 340 back then. <laughs> Used to get the QP inside. Just joking. I wouldn't tell people how to sell drugs. Anyway, um, but I don't I don't really believe in the law thing. So when people were like, okay, let's try to center this thing. When I was posting free young thug, people were really like, oh bitch, no. Don't free him. He's a fucking killer. I'm like, people weirdos. <laughs> first of all, it's supposed to be innocent till you're proven guilty unless you're a Negro. And then you're guilty until you prove yourself innocent. Yeah. And that barely works because look at OJ. OJ proves himself innocent. Y'all still think he killed that can girl. I, can I say something? They was on, they was, uh, you tired of talking about this, but fuck that. They, cause they was on me and Tom ass who not here. Oh, well, you can't change the subject like that, babe. How do you do that? How um, do you just jump topic like that? We want thugger. We talking about, I thought we were talking he danced about. danced around laws. You went to OJ Simpson. I can't. You going to, you trying you to get back at You went to OJ Simpson right or wrong. You can't get back at them on the YouTube comments. Yes, I in can. In the middle of the thug thing. That ain't Yes, work. I can. Okay. We're going to save it though. Phelps. But I'm coming back for y'all. Said fuck y'all. Let's go there. The reason why y'all came at them, because y'all didn't like the fact that, I st- my opinion, Y'all weren't vocal enough about Meg, and y'all were super vocal about Johnny Depp. No, came what, off sexy. what I said was when you said when you asked my opinion, what was my answer? I wasn't there. The medical reports I hate that he says that so on much. on paper. What did it say? The medical report because she not suing no doctors for for wrong for wrongful information. The medical report say what? It was glass in her foot as of last week. That it wasn't when you were talking that uh, shit. Which it don't matter. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I'm just saying they were cussing you out, and that point was not made. That's important. No, here. listen, but remember, I told the motherfuckers to stop assuming. That's their fault. You assuming that somebody Once right. Let's bring this out. He ain't fucking around. You see how that motherfucker wagon? <laughs> He's serious. Because all I said was I wasn't there when and I do got you I got chewed for that. A black woman saying you real cavalier about Meg, but you give a fuck about this white man. I support black women all day, motherfucker. Spade, keep so, telling them. Keep telling them. We need to hear it. We need to get it repeated. And I don't give a fuck repeated if you mean I it, I support nigga. black women all day, every Good, day. So, motherfucker. My, motherfucker, if I say that I'm not about to jump on the bandwagon because it's also the black man that's on the other end of that. Y'all just keep black women. Y'all shit. Y'all pinning the black men and the black women together when the story is fucked up to begin with on her end. But y'all not saying that. Y'all just, y'all just, never Look, he mind. he telling how he never really mind. feel now. Yeah. All I'm saying, I know y'all, all I'm ever, how I've Them. ever, all I've ever said about Meg was that it just surprised, listen, if a woman, some blue-eyed, blind-haired woman were to get shot in her foot by some celebrity, some rock star, pop star, there would be way more love and concern for that white girl, even if they doubted her. It would be done differently. That's period. fine. But so as a black woman, me, when the Meg thing happened, that's what stuck out me to me the most. Like, damn, niggas don't believe her. They don't care for them. Because as a black woman in this country, we don't feel like nobody comes and rescues but us. But you can't. Period. I'm, but listen, that's how I felt about Meg Thee Stallion. In my opinion, my girls here were upset with you in time because y'all seem to care about the men who was supposed to be domestic. And, and honestly, I took it as a joke. When you were doing that with Johnny Depp, I thought yeah, you were yeah. egging it on. I was egging it on. Okay, but, but they took it as he cares about him more than he cares about her. And no. she's a fucking woman. You saying no because that's not what it is or no, that's not what they thought? 
No, I'm saying no. That's not what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Okay, but the, but the, at at the end of the day, motherfucker, pissed. y'all pissed them off. Because at the end of the day, somebody got to be able to say something to a black woman. Everything can't be taken as offense. Somebody got to be able to talk to y'all. Fuck that. Because 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 if I was white, wait wait. Because if I was a white, if I was a white man or 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 any other, you feel me? I definitely can't say nothing to y'all. So a black man, a black man, got to be able to say something to y'all sometimes about something. You better tread lightly, motherfucker. I love y'all. You better tread lightly, goddamn. Because I don't think you. Because to me, Phelps, I don't think that what we really talking about you care about, which is Johnny Depp. And make the stallion. That's why I was like, you pushing this thing home because was, of what you read in them comments. Oh, no. This is now about them being on my ass and them being wrong. Okay. <laughs> that was the whole point. This is y'all first beef. You and it. You and the. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's it feel? Did you win? Did you set them straight? I think you up. You up. Don't show off for a nigga that ain't here all the time. No, you up. <laughs> um, my can bad. we go my back bad. to Jeffrey, please? It needed to be said, though. What needed to be said there? He said basically nobody could talk to black women, and I feel like he's right. Do you? If it's a white man, they gonna get crucified. If it's a black man, we gonna get look, looked down upon. Wow, well, Kevin. And he Samuels. said it very well. Oh yeah, R.I.P. to Kevin me. Samuels. While we here again, another way to dance off the topic of what I want to talk about. We'll talk about Kevin Samuels in one second. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels. Big dog. If Dre, if you want to play some here, <laughs> moment of silence for Kevin Samuels. Achoo. So don't do excuse me. <laughs> don't do my excuse man's. me. Don't do crazy. my man's like that. I have allergies. Anyway, that's what stuck out to me the most that I would post them and all these people were like, no, fuck them, fry them. Blah, blah. I think it got a lot to do with envy when people are filthy rich. Yeah. And then, you know, rock stars, because I look at him like a rock star. He's an innovator. He's, He's lyrical. I love him. He's a gangster. But either way, um And he had cancer. I sent you that when he talked about how he had stage three cancer. Oh, no. I thought you said he was a cancer. I'm about to say, is he? I think he's a Leo. Shout out to the cancers. I think he's a Leo. Derek's a cancer. I think he's a Leo. Um, You're supposed to be innocent until you're proven guilty. These laws are bullshit. They don't even count. Only people got to follow them is our broke asses, not Mm -hmm. the fucking rich people. And don't fucking... Like, what's the energy about like like enjoying somebody dying or going to jail? And that's why I'm glad we're gonna fade right into Kevin Samuels because I hated the way y'all drag Kevin Samuels on it. Yikes! And it's crazy because so my DM flooded. I literally had men DM me and say, "Did you have something to do with it?" What? <laughs> People assume I hate him. I don't. I, let me listen. I'm an internet nigga like Kevin Samuels is, right? I don't hate Kevin Samuels. You never I, talked I'm, about him like that. Listen, he has a strong opinion like me, loud like me, own fan base like me. People love him. I thought about going on, then I thought about like ripping his glasses off his face and popping them. So I was like, I won't go on his. You know yeah. what I mean? Because that's not where I belong, and that's what's wrong with a lot of you whores. Like, you watching shit that's going to piss you off. I'm not watching no skinny head nigga like that talk no skin. In all <laughs> due respect. You know what I mean? Slim Jim head shape. No disrespect. R.I.P. to the same. To the goat. To the I don't man. believe in dissing the dead. I'm older. I think that that is like a young people thing. Yeah, Drill that. rapper. You know, y'all smoke them and all. Y'all roll them uh-huh. up and smoke them in. The dead men. I don't know. Um... I'm still alive. That's what just got me. I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Shout out to him. Um, no, but, you know, like in my age group, you didn't do that. Even if you hated somebody, you kind of just let it be. Like that was something you did in your and it was telling on yourself group away, message. Man. But even if you didn't kill them, you might say, yeah, you see that bitch Shaquita died of lung cancer. Fucking bitch. That's something you did on one one. Mm-hmm. In the public, you went, oh. Did you believe it? Yeah, you had Oh, to. she left two children. Oh, I hope they all right. That's how you carry that. So I can't talk about him because he's dead for the most part. But I didn't have like a huge thing. Like, I mean, people probably hate the way I think too, you know? Right. Like, what the fuck? I do sometimes. Yeah. Is that true? But I you love you. Right. I don't know. I didn't like how y'all <laughs> dragged him. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I didn't like it. Some of it was hilarious. Honesty. 
moment. Um, I didn't repost it or retweet it. You know what I mean? Or like really like that's bad juju. Giving it, in, bro. No, I feel like some of the memes were funny. I feel like he would have laughed at some of them. I don't know. He never gave me sense of humor. You know what stuck out to me the most? I always felt like that he was meaner to the dark skinned girls and brown skinned girls than he was to light skinned girls and mixed girls. And in fact, he died under a mixed girl. I like how he used to ask women they height and weight and how many baby fathers they had. I, listen, according to Kevin Samuels, I'm trash. Y'all both love me. Y'all think I'm trash? You're a high value woman. The, the, how? Right. If I have two children, two dads, no marriage, I'm a piece of shit. But it talks. He talks about like I'm what you're doing. Like, but listen, Oldsmobile. no, listen, you're listen. This you're is like, this is the calm misconception mm-hmm. with which, with with what's Maserati. But the Mona, the Mona, not you, to him, bro. But listen, the Mona, the pro, he not he not coming at you because you're not out here trying to. Uh, uh, request like feel like you should be uh, courtside because your man is on the basketball court. You see y'all what I'm saying? Y'all never, y'all never, y'all never. I appreciate, just... I appreciate the way you did. You gently said that, like you didn't want to say, sorry. like bitch, you don't want no nigga with no money, but you didn't want to say. You I don't go no dig. I didn't say you don't want. I used no to money. be, but I peep big but, mama because that bitch was no, nothing nice. But th- but this is but this is what I'm saying though. Like I I kind of seen like where you at. You're not you're not the type of person that he come at though. You're not like that. You're com- my, you're, you're listen, not like that at whether all. I'm not like that or not. I am still low value because I have two children, and that's why I, I love to even be doing this because y'all love me. Y'all look at me in high value, and to him, I'm a piece of shit. I don't think you're. A I don't piece give of a fuck. No, it doesn't matter if I go dig or not. According to him. Women like me are on the bottom of the total pole, and I need to be thankful for what I get. If if, him, if if both of y'all don't feel like if that. you're trying to go outside of what was in your realm, yeah, then I'm, you, then yeah, that's who he's talking to. Gold, yeah, gold too. So y'all, there think, you go. No, so he's like telling me, yo, you can't look right for now. The man I would look for, mm-hmm. based off my motherfucking trajectory, nigga. Okay, trajectory is a fucking millionaire, a billionaire. If that's what it was. I wouldn't be wrong because of what I do for a living and the kind of money you make in this field. Okay, but you weren't always like that. That's the whole thing. You brought you, you gave, you yeah, gave like yourself you value, yourself nigga. Up. That's the point. You became a high you, value wow. woman. <laughs> you added value to your life so you These can go do that. And drunk the Kool Aid. Some of the stuff is right. Let me ask you this. Let's Some just step. It. Then that way I can be able to at least ride home with y'all because I might have to catch a separate ride. Did any time did, did he ever make you cringe when he did certain things to women? Yeah, when well, yeah, when he would get like real aggressive with him. Like come yeah. on, hanging up and being nasty, buffalo butt and all yeah, that. Yeah, well, he would get aggressive with him. And buffalo do we butt. not find it fucking ridiculously ironic that he dies of like high cholesterol on top of a bitch he knew for twenty hours? Is that confirmed? He knew her for twenty hours. Yes, he didn't know her. Not even a week. Niggas had sex no. every day. B. Sounds like a Viagra honey combination to me. Pussy was the doctor. Sound like the way I would want to go out. If I'm, I'm coming go- for you, Edna. What is mm-hmm. it? What was it from Sanford Sun? You know what? You know What's what? What's the bitch name? I'm, I'm a little young, too young ass for that. motherfuckers. Elizabeth, Y'all I'm coming know. to join you. I'm coming to join you, Elizabeth. You don't know it neither, nigga. I'm a millennial. Whatever. <laughs> I know the more important part. This young nigga didn't know it at all. I'm a millennial. Like, what kind of fucking saying? comedian are you? That's Red Fox, nigga. What? Ooh, cut this out. You better not do that. <laughs> no, what? Red Fox, you need to you know, know who that Red is, Fox. nigga. I don't know who Red Fox oh. is, but you asking me a Yeah, and they ain't lying. You say. better, motherfucker. <laughs> For real, now. Come on, now. You know we all, what you call him ass, because he ain't do his history, but that's whack, though. Who? The Jack Harlow thing. No, that's disgusting. It's he whack. didn't know that Ray J and Brandy were No, it's whack that people on his ass for that. I don't like his hair. I'm not a Jack Harlow fan, but a, a 23 year old. What does he do? He, he raps. raps, but this is the whole thing. Give me a song I know. It was like sex and up. I don't uh, know Jack uh, Harlow. Uh, I'm not a fan. I don't listen uh, to him, but I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not. Song? Listen, at the end of the day, Are you I'm, <laughs> I'm That's not. That's how it goes, bro. I'm not expecting a 23 year old 
white rapper to understand that Ray J and Brandy are sisters. Like, I'm just not expecting that. And it's not, it's not. I just every, found out Will Smith had those extra Those motherfuckers son need to be tested. Anytime you make money in the black community heavy, they need to put you through a new SAT, NAT, nigga AT. Because all, the young, all the niggas don't know the history neither. So. I know. It, I, it was some black rapper that didn't know Tupac or Biggie or something. I think it was Rich Homie Quan. Come on. That's expected from him, though. I was a huge Rich Homie Quan fan in the beginning. He was hot. What? Rich Homie Quan was that nigga. He was hot. I liked it more than Thug back then. Don't you tell him about it. song yesterday. No way, I think. No, that's Thug. Oh, shit. My fault. Sorry, Rich Homie. Come on, I've boss. been playing this music all week. I'm so upset about it. Let's go back to Thug. Fuck it. That, <laughs> the, the whole episode is dedicated to Thug. I don't give a fuck what y'all think about it. Click off and click back on, bitch. Um, do the nose thing he do how he do it like something like yeah okay. wait wait a minute that might be illegal take that back oh, I don't, have, <laughs> I, don't even know that. I love him but I got to get my shit together please oh, I'm oh, a felon Dre. motherfucker please cut that out Dre that shit do be I don't know cool, what though. the fuck it don't matter you, uh, cut it out I'm not doing you see I'm not participating in no drug talk with this shit around my neck right now I'm getting quiet <laughs> listen um. It's just the whole thing. Listen, this is what pissed me off about that too, right? When rappers do things like, for instance, Takashi, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I love Takashi. It's weird. I have like a little obsession with him. I have to watch all his stuff. I watch all his documentary every time he's on. I watch him on live. You know what I mean? I'm very impressed by how he, what he did, what he did. I am. His story is impressive. How he came from nothing. He's from fucking Mexico. He don't have a dad. He's short and he ugly. He got greasy face with nasty skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's short and chubby a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, um, a person like Takashi does the worst case scenario. He tells he's a bitch, whatever, right? Or we find these rappers that get beat up or chumped or you know what I mean? If you were a street person, or if you have any connection to the street or any respect for the street or any type of, you know, connection to the street, Rico is that law, right? Besides for the gangbangers. But Rico is like the impressive one. Like, oh, he's a kingpin. You know what I mean? He's a boss. Mm -hmm. So it's like y'all making fun of the nigga almost like he had a DUI or domestic violence. Like, no, no. Or a violation with urine and all that. Like, even the charge is like. It probably went over your head, but I'll say this. When I got out of jail, no, when I was in jail and I first caught that case, my first case was a federal case, mm -hmm. my father went around and showed people my paperwork. Like, yeah, she got a fat case. He was proud. He was proud. It's ghetto, it's trifling, but... It's it, respected. It's, fuck, it's respected in the ghetto. When, when I would tell people back then, I got indicted when I was 21 years old, my first adult case was a federal one. And a lot of people at home like, oh my God, Yes. That's crazy. My first time ever being arrested as an adult, I sat for 90 days without bail on a federal case. And then I was in like county jail under federal holding. So that's max. They treat you like a murderer. Because they got to make sure you're safe because you, you, they're holding you for the feds. You know what I mean? But people would respond to me 50-50. Some people would be like, damn, all right. <laughs> What's up with you? Where's that? You got them chickens, you know? My aunt will literally be like, my fucking niece get money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. It's the other side of shit. We glorify a lot of stuff like that. You know what I mean? If you don't know at home, the Rico was a law that they, um, the federal government started to get the mob because they couldn't never get the mob. They would lock up the small guy, the guy that beats people up, the guy that runs numbers. That, but they could never get like coppos and dons and shit like that. And around the time of the Teflon Don, a nigga that would catch a case, be the case, make the front page paper, and they would say the Teflon Don does it again. Mm -hmm. So imagine that type of irritation. And then that's that's when they bring the Rico out. The Rico is just like racketeering, corporation, some bullshit. All it means is that it's like a big conspiracy. We thing. all know each other. So if Eddie handling the bot, okay, let's say we all know each other. Hmm? Derek eats out the trash. Yeah. Okay. Phelps is recycling. Yes. Phelps, no, seriously. Derek is handling the bodies because for sure he would be the killer. Um, he's from Boston. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Phelps would be doing like the scammy stuff with the cards and shit, right? right switch. I would be oh, like enforcer. Lucky like Luciano. I would be in she charge thought. of Derek. I would be telling Derek who to knock off because he can't make them decisions she on his own. Lucky Luciano. Yeah. He was the he was like the the gambling. Yeah, for sure. He for was sure. Like the it took me a second. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If I'm Babyface Nelson. I ain't too, it was it was he running with them? All he did was like shoot people up and laugh at the same time. He was retarded. He could barely read. It was a joke. I'm more like. Yeah, she go. Paulie Castellano. I'm a little boss. Oh my god! I'm like I bet you, you like too. Un- <laughs> I just gotta show you that I know all their names. Are y'all obsessed with the mob? I know all the mob stuff. I was so obsessed with the mob for years. Even though they hate us and they call us Mooly, you fucking Moolians. Yo, for real, for real. That means that, nigger in Italian. That's why I ain't never. I don't ca- know for real, bitch. Before you correct me. That's why I ain't never care about gas in the mouth. Cause I'm like, damn, all they, all they yeah, they, they were racist. Super fuck racist. Fuck them, yeah. Super racist. You remember? That I'm from thing? South Philly though, so they we you know we ain't true. We know how they get down. So if we you're from, from <laughs> South, South Philly, excuse me, if you're from South Philadelphia, um, you could have. Very well, you probably grew up make around my, a mob. Make my of. hoagie, Tony, and stop playing. I got a vision. Who was the guy from John Joe Molino? That was our mobster. Molino's hoagies. Yeah, Joe they Molino. make the best. <laughs> Joe Molino, yeah, whatever. But that's the Rico was brought in. This shows all over the place. The Rico was brought into um to to sh- knock them out. You know what I mean? Because they couldn't. The La Costa Nostra, they had that. Thing they do when you become made and they you cut your hand and yeah. all, it's a big deal and them niggas held it down. A lot of motherfuckers ain't tell back then they couldn't penetrate that mm-hmm. shit. But with that conspiracy they could. And let me let you know what conspiracy is. I need to always take these take advantage of um telling y'all certain shit, right? <clears throat> when I caught my case, what stuck out to me the most was it was a book on conspiracy that was like this big. It was that many ways to like break down how people conspire together to do mm. something because that's how they trick people and lock people up, period, right? So if we're all in this room and we're doing a podcast and somebody keeps knocking on the door and I keep going to the door and you kind of have an idea that I'm doing something, but you don't really know, but you kind of have an idea. Maybe you see me count on money. Maybe you hear me on the phone. I get possession of whatever I'm selling and selling that and y'all do too. Y'all just get conspiracy. But if possession of whatever drug, right, and selling whatever drug come with 10 years, your conspiracy comes with 10 years and so does yours. Conspiracy hold the weight of the case. So the worst charge, that's the number for everybody. What? The feds have a 97% conviction rate. And a lot of people don't beat the Rico. Even though if I was just watching, Takashi beat it. They can't get me. At the end of the day, touch yourself. I was in prison with grandmoms, with girlfriends. What you do? I went to Aruba. Like you, it's it's not a joke. I mean, it's like it's literally about who you hang with. You hang mm-hmm. with the wrong circle, you can get swept up in indictment. Period. This ain't no magic shit. We are niggas. We don't get breaks. Mm-hmm. They don't double look at our shit. It's like, okay, you like to go over there and shoot dice with them? Yeah, you knew about the heroin. Mm-hmm. Free thugger and gunner. Low key died. Rest it's a bad piece, week. I really like Lil' Key. I think my favorite Lil' Key song is Million Dollar, Millionaire Mansion. Million Dollar Mansion. Love that song a lot. You put me on to his music today. I'm so sick that you don't know good music and that this guy is dead. Like, fetish, what the fuck? Fetish, re, fetish remix, what? I cannot believe he's 24 years old. They don't know why. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of ooh in the air today. It's a bad joint. It was the 13th yesterday, Friday the 13th. We're not supposed to tell stuff like that, I don't think. But whatever, cut that out, Dre. Cut it. <laughs> um, yeah, so to sum it up, you're fucked if you do, you're fucked if you don't. You get it? Because yeah. if you turn out to be a bitch-ass nigga and you're not this tough guy, then you wasn't living your raps. But if you do live your raps, you're so stupid and you should have got out. I feel like but- it's better to live the raps, though. Um... I Derek feel like when you it. rap, a lot of kids and people follow what you're giving out. You feel me? So if you're rapping about killing shit and a little kid go kill three niggas because he think 
It's what you're doing and you never did it. I think that's fucked up. So you saying basically it should kill people? Nah, like put it like this in sex terms. If Trey Songs, if I ever found out Trey Songs was a virgin, I'd be upset because it's like nigga, I've been listening to dive in, trying to dive in, and you wasn't diving in. You got some explaining to do. Derek is know. stupid, and when he talks, I want to put closed captions under it. <laughs> Trey Songs. At the end of the day, example. I don't think we're allowed to say Trey Songs. Yeah, that was a hard Trey Songs is a big breaker. Do you know well, about that? I can't that? say R. Kelly either. Who am I supposed to say? It's not a lot of people left, nigga. <laughs> Chris right. Brown, the beautiful, the wonderful. He just got into a scuffy. So he just got into a scuffy. Yeah, I don't know whose name I can say. Um, Trey's the only person in here that knows how to treat a lady. I don't. Y'all yeah, gotta check Dre it. out. Did y'all see Dre new shit? Dre got some shit out, baby. I be peeping. Dre be talking at. Dre got a podcast network that will help you get a bitch and marry her. He make me look like a bad. Dre boy. hold y'all accountable though. Don't Dre, what is it called? <laughs> Relationship restored. Drake. And then it's so fancy and positive. That shit, you know how some shit just looks put together? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Dre would never let random people just sit on the couch while he was doing his bucket. Damn. But Dre will hold her more accountable than me or you put together. And she don't want that. Nah, check it out, girl. Relationship <laughs> restored is the shit, baby. Um, it was so much stuff Dre to talk about today. Please don't get in these comments about celebrating this black man going to jail no he's not found guilty yet if that's the case then the least you can do is wait to the outweigh of the case before you judge and say whatever you want to say now look we're gonna land in and say stuff like oh our streets and da 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 y'all can talk because y'all down there y'all living at y'all know what's going on but everybody else shut the fuck up and stop talking about that man because it could be your brother your cousin or some shit you don't know what's going on rap cops are real and they do put shit on them niggas right yeah, that's a fact. Hip hop police are real. If they was no conceives in the industry, they real as hanging real. with a very well known be rapper on, yeah, too. Yeah, They've been on niggas all eating that. pussy all night. What? There has been <laughs> a time. The sun I don't want to be yeah. random, but I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just say there has been a time where I say, "Hey, fellas, what you do last night? Ate pussy all night." Yo, what? Yeah. He has that's said that to me before. Yo, y'all can't <laughs> eat pussy anyway. Yo, can't. <laughs> Um. I've never okay, can I ask? Can I? Okay, can I just one more music related thing? Should they be allowed to use their lyrics at court? Nah, I don't nah. think they should be able to do that. Nah, that's because that could be imagination. Yeah. No, you don't think so. And, either, and, and um, nah, I'm some... a director, and I direct a murder movie. You gonna use my heart against me in court? Exactly. Now, ooh, that's a good one. Because that's all music is. You might want to repeat that. Yeah, Dre said just because look for the niggas in the back. Dre said if I make movies and shit, right? You you're not gonna bring up a movie clip. Is that what you said, Dre? Something yeah. like it. Yeah. Like Scar like Martin Scorsese, which is not a huge, like which that. which is not a huge black art like rap is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do so, think niggas force it when they go too much into detail. Like I shot him in the backseat of the 06 Honda Accord. <laughs> he was on the phone with his mom. Uh, the Melly. Oh, oh YW Melly. Melly. He's a good artist. So. Um, no, you know who comes to mind for me? Um. I'm hunting niggas down when I shoot. They think that I'm Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise. Oh, Bobby, all that uh, Bobby shit Shmurda, happened. Yeah. yeah, all that shit happened. Everything they talk about in that song happened. That nigga could dance now. Listen, I remember Bobby Shmurda, Shmurda went viral. Bobby Shmurda had an effect similar like Takashi with that Gumo video. He was like, something about you. Like, I don't know if it's the video. It was hot, nigga. nigga. He, he went viral because he remembered his hat disappeared when he threw it up. Right. And then, then, then that was. But. They're very much in the hood. They're wearing our apostle. I don't think nobody in that video thinking we're going to be on, y'all. This the one. They don't know. They just they got the beat off YouTube. They just making shit. Be a YouTube beat. It was Jalil, but I think they, they had stole it at the time, I think. um, Yeah, they're using Thug's um, lyrics. He says, we're known to kill the biggest cats of all kitties. They're using that. That's a good line. He the shit. He says... Um, last nigga that tried me got popped at Linux. Really happened. <laughs> Damn. I oh, don't see. I ain't, I ain't for the repeating, man. I ain't, I'm not what trying to What the fuck we going to do? That didn't happen. None of that happened. It's all me. bullshit. He is an innovator and a painter and an artist and an illustrator. Let's move on. I don't want to kill it. But that's what I'm at with it. And I don't care what anybody says about it. 
I'm mm-hmm. thinking about going to court. I think about going and give rent me a blazer and going they on can't down see there. It, but your socks is actually lime green. And my shirt says Free the Big Slime. Free Slime. Free Thugger. You should get a green suit. Jaquan has these shirts for sale. We doing a lot of shameless plugs, baby. Full say. Whatever. Get you one. Um, yeah, get you one, bitch. Or a free gunner shirt or something. Um we have some TT sometimes topics. Tom wanted us to Tom wants me to tell you that Texas is being in filters on Snapchat. Yeah. Remember I told you that? Mm, you were like, for real? But they're also being in abortions and you get like a fifty thousand dollar fine for having a plan B. Who cares about the filters? They're fucked. You can carry guns though out there. Yeah. You can. I don't know. Texas is no a real filters, weird just, spot. Just shows you. We're going to Texas. We're supposed to be going to Texas to interview a special somebody. If he could open up the DM and write back, you think you better than me? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's just go with it. I don't know. Why would you ban Snapchat filters? It's just getting weird in Texas. It's getting weird in Cat Texas. Fishing. We might got to clip them. You know? Make Texas his own place. We should have did that to Florida years ago. <laughs> Not Miami, though. The rest of Florida. All of that shit. Damn, Miami too? It's had enough sin. Okay. The 80s, white lobsters. Wasn't alive then. Children just catching bricks on the side. Can you imagine you letting your children run to the lake or the ocean, whatever, and a brick just come on? Like, you know, mm. that's horrible, isn't That'd it? That'd probably be the best day at the beach. Boy, I would cry, nigga. Tears in my eyes, boy. I'd be drying and shit out that coat. What? That's back when Coke was like, but equal. I got you this, feel me? I got this around my neck. I'm Cocaina. <laughs> Whatever. We got another TT. Where's the TTs? Um, no, I have a great co- uh, fucking topic Niggas that I wanted to Texas, talk about. Boy, right? Get them condoms in order. That's crazy. Yeah, no Plan Bs. If you get caught with a Plan B, it's a fifty up to a fifty thousand dollar fine. DM Phelps for Plan Bs. Free shipping to Texas. Send, yeah, send them through the mail. So look, I'm on the phone with my nigga and his hoe, sorry, and his <laughs> wife, and we start randomly talking about that old topic of who's supposed to pay what bill, or whatever, right? <laughs> and Phelps, I say my little said these niggas, boy, they went on for hours and hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Shout out to my bitch. Seriously. Shout out to my man Pop. Pop had a great take on it. For the love of God. For the love of God, if you're in a relationship, are you supposed to go 50 50? Is the man supposed to pay the bigger bill? Um, who handles the household chores? But to me, this is such a simple thing. Man, pay for everything. I and you know what? I feel like it, the most important part of my how I feel is that it's about what works for you and your family. You know what I'm saying? I am Muslim by faith, culturally. The men are supposed to pay for everything. Even if the woman works, her money is her only. She doesn't owe that to the family or her children. Her only job is to protect his home in his absence and have his home, his children, okay, when he's not there, when he, ready for when he comes back. You said that's Including funny. cleaning and cooking. That's Muslim women. That's Muslim? Well, I'm Christian, so 50-50. <laughs> and I ain't none of that shit. But I, I that, remember I told you what Pop said? That was a great quote. Pop, Pop said, um, "Who Pop? Who which Pop? Pop Vasquez, my nigga, yeah. Pop. He, he basically was like, you know, he, he paid for every. Way. Your money is your money, my money is our money. The, you feel me? My pipe is our pipe. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what, that's how it that goes. That was a joke, and Service I don't believe the community. I believe Pop probably pays all the bills in his household. No, he's that's what he's saying. I pay for everything, I'm, but he gets to fuck whoever he wants." I didn't oh, say that. Phelps, stop. He's joking. Pop would never yeah, look like that. It's he looks joke. like a gentleman. No, no, no. He's <laughs> he's talking about the sentiment. But I, I feel him, though. I feel him. Phelps. I'm not like that. But I'm about to say, Phelps, I, no. I don't I believe feel it. Him, and no. I think that you would pay the big bill. I think, uh, this is what I think that's appropriate American-wise. Him, right? Mm-hmm. The guy paid a bigger bill. So the mortgage, the things attached to the mortgage or rent, things attached to the rent, like insurance or whatever. 
And then the girl will play like cell Wi-Fi. phone, internet, cell phone, trash. And then who does like the cleaning? Is that split in half too? In my household, you can help me. I would. This is how I feel. If you help me, that's cool. Especially if you see I need help, but I'm not expecting you to sweep and mop and shit. That's crazy. Okay. Like dishes, yeah, but like laundry, sweep, mop, no. Like what the fuck is you sweeping and mopping for? That's weird. That's me though. You know what I mean? I bring a nigga play. You go, daddy, you want to show What if the nigga's the better cook in the house? <laughs> that's Word. a good point. What about what point. if the man do his I laundry I have too? never experienced that. So if I had a nigga that liked to cook, ugh. I be doing mean. a good steak. I no, this guy, t- shut up. This guy took me on a date before and he <laughs> made me steak and sofrito. He was from Harlem. He was a blood. Shout out to you. Remember me? A lot of gang talk to them. Too much. But I never had no cooking guy. So I don't know. But I just feel that's, I bring a nigga his plate, take his plate, all in. I do that. Like, you like paper you plates or the, or the dishes? <laughs> I'm a paper plate type of guy, so I could throw it out. I'm I used do to both. put my nigga in the tub and wash his motherfucking back every day. Okay, so you're the cater to you. Y'all type over there. You, first of all, I hate cater to you. But like I, I love Beyonce. I love Destiny's Child. But I just don't like the idea of that. The song, it was too much written in it. Okay. it too much blasphemy bullshit in there. What I just is? feel what like, I'm going to be honest. I feel like in a relationship. A woman wrote it. What? I don't like it. Like, I, even if I did some of that. I they like don't like the it because men like it too much. That's the yeah, issue. Like That's that the issue with the song. Men you like, like it. That song bust. It's a good song. That's a banger, see? Let me cater to you. They don't to like it because... This is your day. <laughs> like, yeah, that shit bust. It's a banger. I sometimes play that shit on the way home and I just turn it off before I get there. Pick a new song so it's not I like the song. Week. You like the song. Dre, you like the song? Mm. That might the be the best only Dre <laughs> likes R&B, though, so... Oh, that song Soldier Bust too, but those are the top two Destiny Child songs. Soldier the shit. Yeah, that shit bust. Of course, no, Soldier the shit. No. The, the best nigga, the, Beyonce, <laughs> the best Destiny Child, thanks for my ADD. They just like they make my ADD so much worse. The best um Destiny Child song is Is She the Reason? I never heard it. What? Here she come album cuts. Can you drop a verse or something? No like video that? for that. Is she the reason you don't call like you used to? Walk through my hood like you used to? Put it on me hard cut, like cut, you cut, used cut. to do? Was it a video for that? I, mean, it, I see running now they coming and I wish you never Is it a video it. for that? Had me thinking I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I'm a huge Beyonce fan and that's the job, man. Shout out Beyonce. Do we know her real age? They be saying that Beyonce is secretly old. Bro. Beyonce is that. fucking perfect. Uh, what were we talking about? Bills 50-50. Yeah, so they got into the most vicious debate. I think her his girlfriend started to punch him at some point. It got crazy. Oh, I hung up on the head. Behind my shit. She should have punched you at the top. And shaped my shit, right? So it's not a triangle no more. But my boy, he in a different... Every, everybody's situation different. We're going to say that. You feel me? I don't know. I think it's whatever's good for the goose, you know. Whatever was goose was good for the goose is not good for the gander. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever works for your family. You old school like that, you believe in 50-50? Husband and wife. Husband and wife 50-50? Yeah. That's, most, that's, that's, that's not what that's it reckless. is, That's man. different. Yeah, he not married. And I'm a stepdad. Shout out to all the stepdads. Oh! He's, he's, shout out to the stepdads for sure. Honor, honorable mention, stepdads. Um... But look, I'm going to be real. I feel like men shouldn't look for mothers in relationships and women shouldn't look for ATM. I feel like everybody should, should carry their own, not carry their own, but you work together. I think it's I think it's unrealistic, depending on what you do, that a man would pay for everything in the household yeah. today. It makes when, no sense. When when this, I think when they say a man pays for everything. But he should every, pay the big shit. Listen, man, it's a feeling that you, as a woman, right? I'm saying, this it's is It's hard what, to get that pussy up. You got the bad Yeah, thing. I'm saying, I'm ring. saying, I feel if you're married, though, I feel like the man pay for pay everything for means means no. eighty twenty, right? That's what that means. Around in the 75, 70, 65. I'm saying in between in between seventy to eighty percent. That's like I guess so. Yeah, I right? guess yeah. That's a, that's what I feel like. Pay for everything means really. And then let me tell you something else. You are not married, but you live the exact lifestyle that I did, which is very similar to marriage, where you have a kid, you're raising a kid, you're with that person, you're exclusively with that person, you come home every day, you have a rate of household. 
for the love of God in Pennsylvania, that was considered marriage some years ago. It was called common law marriage. Damn, and the state honored it as a fucking marriage until five man. years ago. So it's, I mean, come on, bro. Because yeah, I've been hood married, which is like a tattoo, a ring, the all the oh, fixings yeah, yeah, yeah. and no wedding. Hood married, if I've that's done the case. that. Yeah, okay, okay, hood married. Well, okay. we hood married, so yeah, hood married. And I sure. must say, ladies, it's a waste of time. You really should not do that. Yeah, not if you married. feel like <laughs> if this nigga is worth coming home every night, cooking and cleaning, dealing with his other children. <laughs> All that shit. Don't do my like, hands, bitch, man. yes, he should marry you, bitch. And let me tell you something else. Stop falling for them big ass, fancy ass. Can I marry you at the park with all your cousins there? Okay, then you engage for 17 years. That shit ain't right. You got to receive it out you of jail. Married letter. at 53. Girl, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Marry that nigga while them children small, show them children something. I don't care. I got to marry me a bitch. I'm having a wedding. Come on, Debbie. I'm going to be there. It's going to be Deborah because she ain't going to take no shit. Come on, Deborah. Let's move on, fellas. Um, do I have a voicemail? I also want to say, because I love to do digs at my little brother when he's not here. Tom, your topic about if Drake DMs your girlfriend, what would you do? What would you expect? I hate it. You. you hate it because he's like what would you expect come on what's the odds of her really being like can I suck your dick damn I can't believe you're here <laughs> you know what I mean like my boyfriend's a fucking you. loser let me fuck you that's her husband it's not her boyfriend they're married with kids see what I'm saying see how y'all see I got a question for you can god I you? damn okay I misspoke what the fuck what would you do if Drake DM you though and you was in a relationship? Like if in the same kind of situation? If you was married with kids. If it was the same kind of situation? Fuck out my damn pussy. Right. Come in with some gangs you already know. Fuck out of here, Degrassi. She definitely didn't entertain him though. I don't think she entertained him. Wheelchair rolling in a wheelchair ass nigga? He must be sturdy. Not right. Like, then no light skin nigga with you no think beard. she should leave him on scene or respond? I think she's handled it like she did. She cracked a joke and reposted it yeah. like it's a fucking joke. I think she deserves a cash out. That's why it's a stupid ass conversation. She, she and down. I think it's a dumb topic, Tom. And I hate when you're nah, not here. Nah, because mad, 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 mad chicks in the world is definitely them. folding. That's that's what it's about. They folding for broke niggas. So they Let me listen to this voicemail because we will be here all motherfucking day. See how she disregarded that? I that's sure did do. disregard it. Shout out to my gorgeous, beautiful mom. She did a really good job. They said they liked y'all chemistry. I ain't like how you was all in her face. You ain't wonder cool. Hey, Mona. This is Danny. I wanted to just start off by saying first, I fucking love you. I love your show. Keep going. I'm going to get right into my question. So I wanted to know, as you're leveling up in your career and, you know, you sitting at, smaller tables and you meeting execs and you doing all this big shit how do you deal with the people that you know you came up with like your friends your family how do you deal with them not being comfortable with your success or not really being happy for you how do you go about that and my second question would be how do you deal with just staying afloat while leveling up when you're a social media Damn, these person. are like really I love good you. questions. What the Thanks, fuck, Mona, Bye. And then I done talked all along. Y'all probably happy. It's a long episode. Ain't <laughs> this long enough for you? Is your butt numb? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? We could have been I'm done. ready to get up. Smoke something. I am tired of talking. I should walk out this motherfucker right now. I don't owe you nothing. Entitlement. Um, those were really great questions, though. I love y'all so much. Wow. Um, first of all, I'm blessed with a lot of people that are comfortable with um me doing well, but I don't want to be corny like nobody's there, you know. Cause I felt like crazy envy and jealousy from the people that's supposed to be closest with me, like significant others and all kind of shit, y'all. So how did you deal with it? 
um, I'm dealing with it. It's hard because it's like, for me, what I notice about myself is that like a lot of me is still in like, I can't believe this is real mode sometimes. Mm -hmm. No matter how confident I sound, what I say, I'm in the kitchen like talking to myself like, they gonna give you what, bitch? Like, yeah. I can't believe that shit. You know what I mean? So, because I'm really being myself and it's not a lot of... I don't want to say it was not gonna put a lot of effort into it. That's why I know I could try way harder, you know. And that's why I always tell people like, you know, try your yeah. hardest or give it a shot because I know for a fact I could be doing way more. And I also feel like I would just, feel better about life if I was doing okay. way more. What? What the fuck, Phelps? <laughs> what the fuck? You just gonna? I just feel like I could be way farther and just do it way more. You just gonna say that? What's wrong with that? No, listen, not way farther doing way, way more. I never said farther. I could be doing way more in what I'm doing. Like every single day, I could be working towards my goals. I don't do that. I be chilling like a motherfucker. I'm just keeping it real. You know, I do a lot of lounging. You know? What nigga, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't get where his energy is. But he always do that, and I don't know which way he coming. So tell him to chill the fuck out. The Pope's always got to... That's that Taurus bullshit. It's do this drop on Phelps my birthday? birthday. It's about to be Phelps' birthday. Cash app him. Put Phelps cash app here, Dre. Cash app my nigga since you always in his DM whore. And he just dropped a new pic on the gram. Go like that. <laughs> my fault. Mm -hmm. Good looks, Derek. Nice you got two more, and your <laughs> mics can come. Cause I'm tired of it. I didn't know Boston had such. Shout out to Boston. Riff raff down there. I thought Derek was a nice guy. I can't tell anymore. Um, what were we talking about? You had a second question to answer. Oh right, it was so long. What she girl. said, "Staying afloat." Yeah, how you stay afloat? Now, staying afloat is just like keeping like a hustler mentality, and just. You know, like sometimes you, you listen, look, well, depending you on your work. background, you robbing Peter to pay Paul coming up anyway. <laughs> you know how to do some shit. Shit. And your rub baby, them, your baby let him flip that sack rub, back. Rub them two sack. nickels together. You yeah. feel me? Some days are good, some days are bad. And I will say this, because I always want to say something self improvement wise. I could be doing way better financially. If I hired a financial advisor and got some help right now, you know what I mean? Picked up some tools right now because you got to be proactive in it. You don't wait till you touch zero or you fucked up and you audit and you order IRS to get your shit together. Get your shit together prior to, you know? So I get to be doing way better. But no, I hope I answered this whole question. So basically we need some help scamming, y'all. That's what's going on. Scammers, please message us. Um, I think I basically answered the whole thing, but I'm <laughs> blessed with a lot of people. Most of my friends <laughs> and my family are very supportive of me. I do got, well, I don't know. I got, yeah, see, yeah, so, you know, I don't know. You get, I'm going to say this. I have people in my family. You get both. Right. I have people in my family, my friends that never saw me perform before. Mm. That I would have thought would have been at every single performance. Mm. Like that did happen, you know. We got rocks you know, for the haters. We got crap. rocks for haters. They definitely got rocks. You feel me? Give me a double. I'm drinking Casamigos. Yeah, I'd rather look at the cup as half full. So I'd rather look at the people that fuck with me versus people that don't fuck with me. And what I will say is that me personally, no exaggeration, besides some Goliaths, I've never seen a fan base as loyal as mine. I don't give a fuck. Them bitches love me. And I can feel it. It feels real. Oh. I almost feel bad yeah. for feeling connected to y'all like that. But I promise you, out of all my messages, I would say you 92% of them are positive, loving, beautiful messages. Like, I love you. You took me out of my depression. You the only reason why I smiled today. You so funny. You feel like it's really like a... And who... I feel like that's, that's a blessing. Because how the fuck do you get that? Especially with my harsh... Delivery, you know what I mean? The most bullshit I get is from men. Like men with the head shaped like yours a little. That's fucked up. He just got a lineup. <laughs> he just got that shit lined up. <laughs> Why are you talking about Dre like that? Um, let's get into um oh fuck. My DM. My DMs have been so fucking stupid lately that I just 
I want to shout out from. Ari. She does my nails, and she's the reason why my nails look so terrible today. And I want all Damn. of y'all to go to her page and say, "Psych is really not her fault," which is upsetting. It's really my fault. I'm not good at scheduling stuff or being on time or really doing anything. You got point. a pocket full of money. Um. No, I'm about to that money. Nigga, let me go to mine. Uh, you want to do the order trying to get them? No, I don't. Th- I, I don't know. I don't oh, think I got. Oh, you could, none. Phelps. I feel like you never do that. I didn't know I was allowed. I don't know if I got nothing dark in there at the moment. Um. Like, okay. Look. Okay. Um. Good afternoon. My apologies for sending you this message. I don't think you meant so late, maybe, or so early, because it was 7 a.m. First, I like to say I'm a fan of the podcast. Second, I think you're so beautiful, literally, hands down. You're so genuine. That's what makes you even more attractive. Just marry me. LOL. Let's skip the short talk. You can get to know me at the reception and honeymoon. Be my stink stink. I'm sorry I had to say this, but you are so beautiful on so many different levels. Um... Fly boy, the answer, I really was going to say yes, we can get married. I was like, fuck it, because I like your hat. But I don't like the fact that you say, I'm sorry I had to say this. That's I don't like when people do that. That's like niggas that put LOL and everything. It gives very much so pussy. Like you scared. Like <laughs> say something and mean that. Stand on something. Mean what the fuck you say. I don't like that. And I also didn't like the thing about be my stink stink. You gotta start showing me these niggas. He has a huge following. He's dead. I would have married you though. Like right when you were like, let's just go, let's get another, let's skip the short talk, get to know each other at the reception. Sounds like a good time. I feel like you already be knowing niggas be waxy. You be like, I'm not about to show this to Phelps because he going. <laughs> I just know it. Phelps. You show me so, you when you confident, you'll be like, and I'll be like, oh, all right. But I was about to say you may be right. This girl's DM is so long that I can't even try to read it like some like bro can y'all see this how long these shits are <laughs> like this is like I literally different people i definitely got one of the, yeah like when i get those the lot like uh, people trying to file lawsuits and, and, and oh all of that my God. i talked to a girl the other day that was racially Ooh. profiled by this furniture store yeah, I, I, see, I kept it mashing on her i was you, cool you opened it to talk to her let me stop because we, we she joined my live so we having a conversation and she goes she real jazz you, mind you whole time baby I've been read your DM I never opened it I read it though <laughs> Phelps I'm talking this girl I'm gonna shut up but I feel for her cause she is like she we, can't eat or sleep bro we we might gotta uh, be, become the um the the, the, the new social I media I want y'all to know Dre is in the back like what the fuck can we get the fuck out of here there it go right there Oh, I knocked the stool over. I'm so sorry. People definitely be looking for you to be the uh, cap Captain Save them on the, the the social media. I love y'all. I don't know what the fuck you expect me to do. I'm manifesting tour some stand ups all around the country. Maybe the podcast going on tour. I'm manifesting a Texas a, a Dallas Texan coming on my fucking show. Um, in a Miamian, like, come on, stop playing, y'all. Damn, y'all manifest anything, anything positive? I am. Um, I'm manifesting. Uh, I know somebody out there listening, call a nigga for a voiceover. I could read and all that. Oh, Phelps yeah. always got some. You're really good at this. You need to start saying how you pussy all night on, a, on all night. They gotta pay me to say that. It's the same thing, Phelps. You pitching yourself out there. You will eat a bitch pussy all night. You have said that to me a couple times. What you manifest in there? Um, some stand up tours. Right, right. I'm trying, you know, trying to level up. Fucking copycat. I just said that. Oh, like, I thought you were saying what we talked about in the car. You just said it first. Dre, let's, can you cut his out? Where are you? <laughs>